half a degree in a world apart, what difference does it make if there is a temperature rise of 2 degrees instead of 1.5 degrees? Well, nothing much if it is your daily cup of coffee or the temperature of your air cooler. But the scenario changes when it comes to global temperature rise. Good morning to all. My name is Pranav Jainambia of class 6E from my beloved school Chinmaya Vidyalaya Vadudala. Today I am here to discuss on the dangers of global warming and ways to limit it. So what is global warming? Global warming is a process when the earth heats up and temperatures rise. Have you heard of greenhouse gases? Gases such as carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane, water vapor, etc. Greenhouse gases trap light reflected by the earth and keep the earth warm. But an increase in these gases can lead to the overheating of the earth, termed as global warming. Greenhouse gas emissions are from mining, landfills, burning of fossil fuels, etc. etc. Higher temperatures are already dragging out droughts and wiping out crops. Himalayan glaciers that provide water to over 240 million people are already melting. Hurricanes getting stronger and more devastating, all thanks to climate change. So, where does this 1.5 number fit in? Well, it's just where there's enough heat to push many natural ecosystems past a dangerous point. Now, temperature rise going above 1.5 degrees will be putting millions more at risk of potentially life-threatening heat waves and poverty. We humans have already have already made one degree of global warming. But we still have hope. The IPCC report says that we still have a shot at holding global temperature rise at 1.5 degrees. But we need to act, shift to sustainable living. So basically cut fossil fuel emissions in half by 2030. So leave oil, gas and coal and make transition to cleaner living and energy. The Kyoto Protocol aiming at reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The Paris Agreement aims at limiting global temperature rise. These are all great efforts to save our only habitat, our Earth. We too have a role. We must start using public transport, reduce the overuse of valuable resources, moreover reuse and recycle. There is always a solution to a problem, so let's work together save our earth. Thank you.